everybody. What's up, guys? So it's been a really long time since we've done any video, yeah, much yeah, less yeah. a pickup video. Have we even done a pickup video on this channel? No, I don't think we have. PRG, the yeah. PRG pickup video. Yeah. We had the best week mm -hmm. that we've ever had. As far uh, as pickups go. As yeah. far as pickups and collecting, you uh -huh. know, since we started collecting. I, we, I think we've been collecting uh, close to 10 years now. Yeah. Not counting, like, when we originally yeah, got yeah, our yeah. stuff or whatever, but this has to be, like, the best week. It's not sure. filled with heavy hitters, but... We've never hit a retro lot like this. Well, actually, it's a few lots. Yeah. But uh, all, all done in, in one week. Yeah. All done in like, the span of like two days, probably. Even, yeah. So. It's crazy. So we'll just get right into it. What I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and show the systems first. Um, this one in particular here, the Genesis, didn't come with any uh, accessories. So no controllers, no power, no mm -hmm. AV. Uh, but we could easily get, get those online. Yeah. And then we got an NES. It's got a broken door. I already ordered, ordered a replacement for this mm -hmm. one. This one came with a four score, uh, four, four controllers, controllers, yeah, one zapper, and all the connections. And the AV yeah, power yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah. And then finally, uh, an SNES, uh, which is actually in pretty good condition. We hardly ever find the one with, that has the label with the for the power switch. Mm -hmm. That's right there. Cool. And really quick, here's the four score that came with the NES system. So I guess first we could show off the games that came with the Genesis lot. Yeah, okay. that'll work. Okay. Okay, go. So we're just going to go off in no specific order. So we have a not for resale copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, World Series Baseball. And uh, most of these have really cool looking blockbuster stickers on I them. Know. But some of them don't. So we have Ghouls and Ghosts. That, one does not, that one's in really good shape. And the nice thing about this lot is we never run into Genesis Games. Lots at all, any games at all, and so yeah. we're gonna be able to keep a lot of these. Yeah, there's some really cool games in here. Then we have Mortal Kombat 3, the Streets of Rage, and then G Lock Air, Bo Air Battle. Cool. Arcade Classics Ease 3. I think Sounds it's Ease, cool. right? Yeah, Ease. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Um, I think we might have that one, and if we don't, yeah, I think this is surprisingly do. like a $20, yeah, like a $20 yeah. game. Yeah. Um, Forgotten Worlds. Paperboy. Fight Through Time, Tyrants. Olympic Summer Games. And Rolling Thunder 3. I'm pretty excited about that one. Okay, now here we have Miss Pac-Man, Double Dragon 3, the arcade game, Art of Fighting. That one has good art or cool artwork. Yeah, it does, huh? Okay. The Revenge of Shinobi. Excited to add that one to the collection. And then Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Of course, it's got to have something. <laughs> you know, and it also came with four 32X games, which we don't have a 32X, so these are just going to uh, go on the Ebays. Okay. We got Doom, Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000. That one looks cool. Cosmic <laughs> Carnage, and Virtual Fighter, not for resale version. I don't know if that cool. means anything or not. And then uh, this also came, the guy threw this in, um, it's a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance SP. Yeah. The cobalt blue, but it's the zero zero one. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. It came right. with Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay. So that's the Genesis stuff. <laughs> and now we'll move on to the SNES lot. Uh, so when we showed up to to pick up the SNES games, um, the lady just kind of threw these in as well. So we have a loose, a disc only copy of Mario Super Sluggers. I'm just showing these just cause. But um, and then uh, it's this plastic case full of uh, loose GameCube discs and um. It's got some decent games in there. Yeah, so we have like uh, The Simpsons Hit and Run, and then there's a copy of Paper Mario and uh, The Legend of Zelda Four Swords. So it's and got then, the other uh, Simpsons game in there. Yeah, so just a bunch. A couple of, of Medal of, Medal of Honor games. Um, it's uh, a nice little lot that someone will enjoy, I'm sure. Yeah, and then now I guess we can start showing the SNES yeah. games. So it, again, in no particular order, we have Spectre, right? Is that mm -hmm. how you pronounce that? Spectre. Jurassic Park. This is a decent one. Mega Man X. That one's cool. We already have that though. Vega Stakes. Street Fighter 2. B 
Beware the ultimate evil of Warlock. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally? Huh. <laughs> that one's cool. Yeah, we don't have that one. That one's interesting. Monopoly. Hyperzone. Yoshi's Island. I don't know if I already showed one copy of that, but there's going to be two. Williams Arcade Greatest Hits. Spider-Man, X-Men, something, Arcade's Revenge. <laughs> uh, here we have Clay Fighter, Donkey Kong Country, Primal Rage, College Slam. I'm going to save some of the better ones for last. <laughs> okay. Here. Uh, Izzy's Quest for the Olympic Rings. Super RBI Baseball. Toy Story. NBA Live 98. Or 96, sorry. The Tick. Paperboy 2. So here I'm going to show... Those are the good ones? Yeah, right, so just we got out, Urban right. Strike, the sequel to Jungle Strike. I always find, we always find that game for Genesis, Jungle Strike. The Hunt for Red October. And we com Wing Commander, the Secret Missions. We got this one complete in box, I think. Yeah. It's not an expensive game. Um, and then the two better games are... The reason we got the lot... Yeah, 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 pretty much. Uh, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. That's the one that we really... We want all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games, mm -hmm. so that's one that we were missing, so that's... Those are game. games that I just remember playing a lot with my dad, like, any time uh -huh. a Ninja Turtle game came out. Yeah. Just, like, like those oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. He used to get all those for me whenever I was younger. He'd get the games and we'd play them together. Yeah, and then apparently the more... the I guess the most expensive game is The Death and Return of Superman. So, so he, cool. he kind of caught the person selling slipping, and yeah. he caught himself slipping because he saw Turtles in Time, and he was like, I must have this lot. And then yeah. the price was ridiculous, yeah, ridiculously cheap. Um, and so uh, he's like, I got it because Turtles in Time, and whenever I was cataloging everything, I was like, I got some good news for you. Yeah. Turtles in Time is not the most expensive game, game in that right. lot. So that was a pretty good um, a find to, to add to the collection without yeah. even knowing. It was like a surprise, yeah. a surprise find. For and sure. finally, the NES lot. Yep. This came with 62 60, games? Yeah, 62 or 64 Well, games. he said 60... The guy said 62 or 64, uh -huh. but there's duplicates, and the yeah. duplicates he wasn't counting, so I think it's, like, close to 70 games. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna... We get to add a lot to our collection. Yeah, it's, um... It's definitely the biggest lot I've ever It's found. the biggest <laughs> lot. I think my buddy yeah. gave us, like, 30 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and he yeah, just... Games. He gave them to us, and then there was a lot of doubles in there, and he was like, I don't care what you do with the doubles. Yeah. But that one doesn't count. That was, like, a gift. This was an actual, like, find in the wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... I don't know. I don't want to say any prices. Yeah, just... Yeah. Because then people judge, but this was cheap as hell. Yeah, it was. It would make you a little angry if you knew. But yeah. But, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start showing you the NES games. Okay. No particular order, and we haven't really separated out any of the, like, mid-range priced ones. You know, the ones that are, like, what, in the 20s, 25, yeah. 30. All right, so these have sleeves, the ones I'm about to show you. So we have Batman. Sorry. WrestleMania. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. I don't know if this is MC Kids, or I, I would guess it's about kids, since it's a McDonald's game. Yeah. Uh, Spy Hunter. Demon Sword, release the power. Kung Fu. Double Dragon, pretty minty label, actually, on that one. Fester's Quest. Ninja Gaiden. Blaster Master. Back to the Future. Top Gun, the second mission. Cool. Wizards and Warriors. Uh, World... Oh, World Games. Gotcha, the sport. Get them before they get you. <laughs> uh, the, the Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and World Crash Track Meet cartridge. Super Glove Ball. We've got a... Um, wow. Huh? What's the name of the glove? Oh, Power Glove? We've got the Power <laughs> Glove. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> That's embarrassing. At least it didn't happen on camera. Yeah, um, great. I might connect that to our CRT TV, our big ass CRT TV, and see if we can play that. Yeah, see cool. if we can get it going. See if that thing even works. Uh, Defender of the Crown. This one looks cool. I don't know if we had this one. Probably not. Maybe. Sounds cool. 
maybe not those. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> sure. Mega Man 3. Oh, and I'd like to say that we did get this lot because of one single game. Well, actually, no, that's not true either. Yeah, yeah. I there's... don't think you realized. Okay, so anyways, yeah. we got this lot because of all these games, and then we got a surprise. Yeah. The Goonies 2. Uh, T and C Surf Designs. Mylan Secret Castle. Mylans. Mylans. Mylan Secret Castle. Mylans. Se Sesame Street 1, 2, 3. This one I was pretty excited to, to get. Uh, Schwarzenegger Predator. Just because oh, yeah, it's, it's cool. actually got him on the label there. And it's, you know, at least it's not like a blatant, like on Commando where they like use his body, but. Yeah, not his face. So here tell. we have System Cleaner for Nintendo. That one's a cool one. Uh, then we have Skater Die. We have Contra, and also Contra and Super C. Yeah. So those were the game. Those were the kind of games that I saw in the post and was like, "That's why he yeah, was like, oh man." Because yeah. I mean, obviously, guys, we're collectors. We collect things. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what we do with the spares. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. just, just you know. Fester's Quest, that might be the second copy that I show already. Yeah, so we were thinking like, well, we get to add a bunch of games to our collection, and then of course we can pay for the lot with, yeah. you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Caveman Games. Gremlins 2, the new batch. The Adams Family. I love that label. I know, it's like cool, it's. Uh, it feels yeah. like it's like a repro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The tenor, <laughs> it's such I a love weird how it's got the... The um the banner there, the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, yeah. the red bar there, yeah. it's pretty cool. Then here we have The Legend of Zelda, the Did first one. one here? Yeah, I already okay. showed those. Right. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, the first one, in really good shape, and then a decent shape, uh, Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of the Link. Which those, a buddy here locally, uh, who has bought an NES from, stu from us and stuff, has been really looking for those. I actually let him borrow my copy, and I messaged him, and I was like, hey, I got some new good news for you. And some bad news, I want my game back. Uh, championship Bowling. This one here, I was like, oh, I saw Championship Bowling, and I was like, I hope it's like the Super Nintendo bowling game that's Around. worth a ridiculous yeah. amount. It's yeah. not, it's like six bucks, five bucks. You have a copy of Dragon Warrior. Another copy of MC Kids. Strider. Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. We have this one complete in box. Friday the 13th. And then we've got Ninja Gaiden. Another copy of Ninja Gaiden. This is the second one, right? Yeah. yeah. You got a copy of Tetris. Jaws. Then we have a copy of Gyromite, which is cool because we don't have this one in our collection yet. So it's a, it's a black, box game, black box game that we didn't have. DuckTales 2. <laughs> Just kidding. It's DuckTales. Right, that would be cool. Dodgeball. <laughs> Silent Service, Lunar Pool, Pinbot, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt Bundle, Narc, no one had the guts until now, Wizardry, Operation Wolf, we got this one complete in box. Okay, I think those are the last ones okay. that we haven't shown. Alright. Skater Die. Here we have a copy of Castlevania, which we had just added to our collection like a week or two ago. Yeah, so. I know. We we have we have two and three, and we just didn't have that one. Yeah. Another copy of Pinbot. I think this is a second copy. Yeah. NES Play Action Football. Here we have a copy of Werewolf, The Last Warrior. A copy of Punch-Out. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, which we didn't have either of those two Punch-Out games. Then top secret episode Goal Go Thirteen, or just Goal Go Thirteen, I guess. Uh, the Karate Kid, California Games, and Super Mario Bros. Three. And then second to last, uh, Adventures of Dino Ricky came in this um, rental box. These are these are really cool. I like, you know, it's got a. Um, what do you call it? Instructions? Yeah. But they're different. The I don't know if this actually came 
with, with the, the original NES, or if it was made specifically for Something rental stores, rental stores did, yeah. which uh, that's kind of cool. And then you, of course, you got the full retail of this product will be collected if this seal is broken. Yeah. All those little labels and like the blockbuster labels are, are so cool. cool. Yeah. And um, I guess this one's the best. We saved yeah. the best for last. Uh, I I had no idea. He kind of knew because um, I knew it was pricier, but I was way off. I was yeah. like, I was like, dude, that that game's worth like fifty bucks or something. I was yeah. like, I'm gonna look it up, and I looked it up, and I was like, yeah. Um, I guess. And it's not just the game. Yeah, it's a re it's and it's in a rental box, but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tur Tournament Fighters, and it's cool because it has those little stickers, like the rental stickers that. Uh, they obviously aren't broken, so you could tell that it's probably never been opened. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's really cool. And the manual. The only the only thing that kind of sucks is that it is a uh, like it's it's uh, it's glued. The back it's glued. the back cover is glued to the yeah. You can see the final page back there with like you can see all the yeah. adhesive. But um, I mean the other than that, the manual is in really good shape. I it don't is. know. If we, I don't know if it's something we could remove from the box. But either way, this is. I guess this is the kind of game that we would want to have in a protect the case, <laughs> yeah. anyways. So, uh, and I kind of really like that. I, I kind of like like the stickers and all that, like the fact that it was a rental game. I think that. So I guess cool. um, without saying a direct price, all of that came out to like a dollar and forty seven cents a yeah. piece or something, and yeah. that's not including the system, which mm -hmm. the system is gonna be Gucci and. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, the, uh, like this game, you know. So we got that game for a dollar forty seven, whatever yeah. it was. So yeah. I mean, what. What better of a fine can you ask for? Yeah. And then, like, the Genesis games, there's definitely a lot of um, upwards of 20 bucks. Yeah. You know, and we got that for a really good deal. And it's it's rare for the retro stuff. We found a lot of GameCube stuff, Wii, Wii stuff, stuff. The, um, PS3. Um, PS3. Stuff. Yeah. We're going to make a, a PS3 video just on games that we picked up over the last uh, maybe half a year. Uh -huh. Just here and there, every... Every time we find one that's like, hey, this one is holding value or this one's going to go up in it's value. So yeah. uh, we're holding on to that. But as far as retro stuff, we found some lots here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, cheaper, really have helped out local people mm -hmm. uh, in trading and stuff. But this was awesome. Yeah, this is really and, good. And uh, he found all of this in a week, less than a week, like in two or three days. Yeah. I mean, it felt like a week because was, yeah. there was a guy that was out of town. And so he had to pick it up like a few days later. Yeah. But the guy actually like held his word or whatever and actually met up with him. Yeah. In the end. So yeah, it's been a while. Hope you enjoyed. It's a pickup video. I think mm -hmm. people are going back to enjoying those again. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But yeah. if you're watching, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe we'll see you in another video soon or maybe we'll see you at PRG. Yeah, see I you don't guys. know. Peace.